Hi and welcome to this video presentation of IDS's Performance GIS application. The video isn't just about new technology or nice graphics, it's about giving you the information you need to make the right decisions within your organization. I'll be talking about GIS, data connections, live data feeds and environmental monitoring. The video won't take long and I'm going to hurry on through so that I can give you as much information as possible. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing you'll notice in the system is that it's spatially referenced. Part of any implementation will be to capture, link to and present all the information that you have available within your organization. Whether it's spatial, graphical, numerical, textual or even web based. And like any information it can be either directly linked to the live working copy, meaning it's updated dynamically as the origin has changed, or it can be a static data set updated on demand. Notice that the system opens directly within a web browser and as such can be hosted either on the local intranet or directly over the internet depending on your target audience. There are a few main areas on the screen. The layer definition panel on the left hand side to select what you want displayed. The main working panel in the center of the screen. The dynamic panel on the right which is used for user interaction and display purposes. And then a few other small sections like the uh, properties panel on the bottom left. And an information panel on the bottom of the screen which displays coordinates, selections, scales and boundary sizing. Let's take a look at some of the layers that we have available in this project. I'll go ahead and zoom in so that you can get a bit closer to the action. This is an oil field project and as such we are displaying the well locations, the road network and some building data. Let's display the pipe network that links the wells together. Those without pipes are flowing to tank. Now since we can measure directly in the system, this is a great tool to use in order to plan new pipeline projects. Let's go ahead and measure the distance from one of these wells to the nearest oil line. We can see that 250 meters of piping is required to hook this well into the main pipe network. Effective project planning is one of the main benefits of GIS implementation. Let's see some subsurface data. I'll hide all surface infrastructure apart from the roads and the well locations. If we open the production node, we can see that we have a lot of live information available to us. In this case, we can choose to show deviation survey data related to the well surveys, as well as production layer specific data like faults, contours, interpolated production zones, net pay maps, layer intersects, and of course, oil, water, and gas production associated with the layer. I've only shown three producing layers here for simplicity, but we can be dealing with anywhere up to 50 different producing sands, so this can get pretty complex and contain a lot of data. Let's see what some of this information looks like. We'll turn on the faults, contours, layer intersect points and the interpolated production zones. Comparing, relating and measuring this information gives you a very clear picture of the environment beneath this oil field. This type of visualization would be extremely difficult, if not impossible, with only spreadsheet information or disparate data sets. Let's see some production. The first thing you'll notice is a few green bubble charts have appeared on the screen. These are sized according to total oil production, so the larger the bubble, the greater the production. This makes it very clear which wells are the high producers from the sand. Remember that this is live data called directly out of the corporate production management system. In this case, the system is one developed through us at IDS, called PIMS. As the main system gets updated, so the GIS system changes. You now have full confidence that the information you are looking at is the validated, final information contained in your corporate system, and decisions can be made directly on what is presented in Performance GIS. Hover the mouse over one of the wells. The system produces a dynamically generated pie chart depicting the breakdown of oil, water and gas production from that well. Do this over several wells and see the different results. The system also links directly to other defined information sources. Select the control button and click on a well. The information panel on the right now shows a wellbore schematic data showing the current status of the well, including what equipment is currently downhole, where the well's perforated, any workover related problems, everything right there in the browser. Any related data that you require can be called up, including photographs, specifications, incidents, monitoring results, material costs. Really, anything that you feel should be portrayed to the end user in order to streamline your operations. We can even call up raster data like net pay maps and satellite in imagery. Practically any monitoring data can be displayed in the system, including weather station data, groundwater sampling information, stream monitoring results, air quality data, KPI information, etc. 
Notice that we have included some water quality and air quality data in this system. The power of GIS thematics means that you can color code the resultant markers to coincide with quality standards and thereby make it very easy to graphically visualize areas of non-conformance. You can also view dynamic charting of the monitoring results. Let's jump across to a different demo set, one containing more cadastral information. We'll zoom in slightly until we can see the land parcels. Let's open up the query screen and choose to find parcels of land in which the owner's name begins with an A. Now we can choose the name we are interested in and zoom to the feature. Let's produce a buffer around the selected parcel to see any other parcels that say fall within 100 meters. The applications for this are numerous, buffering around environmentally sensitive areas in order to restrict access or development, around infrastructure for security purposes, or even around business types to check for other similar businesses within certain distances. Now I'm sure you're wondering just how much this is going to cost. Web-based GIS is notoriously expensive with complex licensing models. Well, the exciting thing is that the software will cost you nothing. The system is put together using a combination of our own proprietary coding, a lot of knowledge, know-how and data manipulation on the back of existing open source GIS technology. So what do we get out of making this little video demonstration? Well, like all things, the crux is in the know-how. GIS is an extremely large subject with some pretty complex processes. You could try to figure it all out yourself, but chances are you'll just spend a lot of time getting nowhere. That's where we come in. So why don't you contact us today to find out how we could go about GIS enabling your organization with Performance GIS by Infinite Digital Solutions. Thanks for watching this demonstration video and if you have any questions don't hesitate to drop me an email at jason at infinite Speak to you soon.